we could talk about vitamin D for eight hours. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I tell patients, I tell everyone, if there's one supplement, only one supplement you pick to take, I think it should be vitamin D. Yeah. Everybody's deficient, especially mm -hmm. in northern latitudes, and um, it's safe and it's inexpensive. So yeah. vitamin D is a hormone in itself. That's why it does mm -hmm. so much. So now I'll let you talk about it. No, uh, vitamin D, I think you hit the nail on the head as so many health benefits, uh, you know, everything from muscle recovery to overall mental health and wellness, um, immune function. Uh, I, I think that's a critical one. And, you know, it's interesting. We do a lot of vitamin D testing um, at our pharmacy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've worked with entire, be it school districts, a lot of different things where we do testing with the entire thing. We had a district that we tested. This would have been August 31st. 29th, I want to say, was the date of this past year. And they also talk about, you know, the sunshine hormone. Yeah. So we did the, we, we did a test with everyone. Uh, the average score on that was a 24 um, nanograms per milliliter. The highest anyone had was a 38. So I live in Wisconsin to give everyone like a sense of breath. But I think it was a very, you know, very surprising for the entire district to realize like, hey, even though that some of them are already taking vitamin D, so, you know, it's the summer months or you're outside more how low everyone was despite the environmental like uh you know being favorable for vitamin d levels yeah in the middle of summer but here's one of the things northern latitudes yep you're in northern latitudes so the sun is not hitting hitting mm -hmm. it hitting us like it would at the equator and um i mean sure we're, we're outside but are we outside that much yep. and are we covered up you know, most of the time we're wearing shirts, um, you know, we're wearing sunscreen because we don't want to get skin cancer. That's a whole other story. Um, but uh, most of the time we're, we're covered up and we're protecting ourselves from the sun to prevent sunburn. So that that stops the production of vitamin yeah. D in our skin when we do that. So, mm -hmm. and when people are taking vitamin D, and I'll, I'll let you hit on this a little bit, you know, they, they take it in their multivitamin mm -hmm. or they take a thousand units a day. And, and tell us what the dose really should be, Sean. Gosh, I, I think for most people, you should be at a minimum of 5,000 IUs based off what I've seen. Um, we do a lot of 10,000, you know, IUs as well. And, you know, and the other point, you know, kind of building off what you were saying in terms of just the sunlight is, I always tell people, if you're inside from, even during the summer months, if you're sitting in a, you know, a room from 8 o'clock until 5 o'clock in the afternoon, if you're outside walking at 7 a.m. in the morning or 7 p.m. at night, you're not going to get those strong rays even during the summer. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Cause what is it? 10, 10 to two is when the sun's rays yep. are the strongest. Mm -hmm. um, and, and most of us are inside then. Yeah. You know, especially during the week. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my, my uh, thought on vitamin D is most patients, I'm about the same latitude you guys are. And most of our patients will do better between five and 10,000 units a day. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a 50,000 unit um, vitamin D that you can take once a week. Um, that will uh, give you about 7,200 units a day, um, which is perfect. Vitamin D does not have to be taken every day because it is fat soluble and has a half-life of 19 days. So you can't actually take it um, once a week or even less at the right dose. Mm -hmm. No, that, that's an excellent one. And again, that's one that's hard to get from food. Um, I always tell people like, uh, I think you'd have to eat like 14 cups of white mushrooms a day or, you know, three gallons of fortified milk a day. <laughs> like right, it's another right. thing that's really hard to get from food alone. <laughs> right, right. Well, and you know, what I learned in pharmacy school was, you know, vitamin D is a dangerous hormone because it's fat soluble. You got to be careful about overdosing and 400 units was what was recommended. And that's why you'll see most multivitamins will have 400 units a day yeah. of vitamin D. And that's just, it, it, that's just a waste. It's almost like, yeah. why do they put anything in there? <laughs> vitamin D is something you usually have to have to supplement with yeah. separately in a separate supplement because you need so much of it. I, I know. When I look at a multivitamin, I see the vitamin D dose. I like I have the mental image of like taking a bottle of water, dumping it into the ocean, and expecting to see the water level rise. <laughs> right. Right. That's a really good point. Yeah. It's like spitting in the wind. It, I mean, it's, 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 it's nothing. And I, I think it's important for us to tell our patients that too. Yeah. And with vitamin D supplementation, because I'll see a lot of patients and their, you know, the vitamin D is like, you know, like you say, 38 or something, which is not optimal. It's it's in the normal range, but not optimal. Mm -hmm. um, and you ask them about the vitamin D they're taking, and they 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 take a thousand units a day, and it's almost like it, it's like almost taking nothing. I mean, you know, so if you do have those capsules that are thousand units a day, take five of them, yeah. and then when those are gone, 
you know, get a supplement that's, you know, 5,000 units a day. No, that, that, that's always a good one. 